वेलकम बैक टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इन्वर्शन इन्वर्शन मीन्स पुडिंग द बार बिफोर द सब्जेक्ट एज वी डू इन इंट्रोगेटिव सेंटेंसेस इज एंड इट ए वंडरफुल टॉपिक सो आई एम पुडिंग द बार बिफोर द सब्जेक्ट देयर आर अदर केसेस वेयर वी यूज इन्वर्शन लाइक नेवर हैड आई सीन अ ब्यूटिफुल पर्सन लाइक यू नेवर हैव आई एक्सप्लेन्ड a useful topic like this so to emphasize the sentence to bring color in your speech or variety in your conversation we can use inversion so i am here going to explore where the inversions are used my name is devrat rai and i am going to explain where the inversions are used never had i explained a useful lesson like this so i am emphasizing i am giving stress to the sentence that never had i explained a useful lesson like this by putting the verb before the subject i am actually stressing on the sentence we can see the common inversions when we use interrogative sentences like how are you where are you going but if you say isn't it a wonderful day today here actually it seems to be a interrogative sentence but it's not an interrogative sentence i am not asking you i am telling you that it's a wonderful day today uh, so i am just giving emphasis or just giving variety to my sentence a dramatic effect i am telling you that isn't it a wonderful day today now you try yourself it is very cold outside today so how you can say this differently yes you are right you can say isn't it very cold outside today try again he is a very nice person so how can you say this sentence isn't he a very nice person you are not asking you are actually saying that he is a very nice person you have a luxurious car i can say simply but how can i stress the sentence how can i say it more uh, emphasize don't you have a luxurious car and this sentence is much better i can say he has a big house but it's a basic sentence it's just a correct sentence but not very much standard sentence instead of i can say doesn't he have a big house so it sounds good when i am saying like this we also know that with the verb modal verb may Uh, inversions are done like may god be with you i am putting the modal verb may before the subject god so it's inversion may you live long and prosper uh, so instead of this sentence i can say i hope that you live long and prosper but it is very basic sentence instead of to emphasize the sentence i can say may you live long and prosper so it sounds good you can bring some variety by using these types of inversions in your speech or in your writing i hope that you both live together happily you can say this but instead of what can you say try yourself yes your gaze is tight you can say may you both live together happily in case of reported speech we find inversions when the reporting verb is mentioned after the quotation then we see the inversions i hear you said samuel so it is very common get out of the class shouted the teacher but if i say i hear you said he then it's not a right sentence it's not correct it's wrong because in case of pronouns we cannot use the inversions we must say I hear you," he said. After here and there, we use inversions. Here is the man. There goes your brother. But keep it in mind: if pronoun is there, you cannot use inversion. Here it is. There he goes. Okay, you cannot say there goes he or here is it. In case of conditional sentences with if sentences, we can use inversion. like if you need my help i will be there so i can say it differently should you need my help i will be there 
If students faced more difficult examinations, they might be more prepared. So I can say differently that where students to face more difficult examinations, or I can say, had students to face more difficult examinations, or even if I can say, should students to face more difficult examinations, they might be more prepared. So we can use inversion like this. If we use the modal verbs before the subject, or if we put the verb where or had before the subject, we need not to use the if, we can omit it. Not only is he my friend, he is my guide also. Never have you told me the truth. Hardly had I entered the station, the train left. Not since before social media has loneliness reached such a level. Rarely does he come here. Scarcely does he attend the meeting. Seldom do you listen to the advices. Only after the meeting does the boss open the secrets. Only when the rain has ceased will the roads be reopened. Little do I know that they have arranged the meeting. Here it means I know nothing. Little do I know means I know nothing. Hardly can one find a good leader nowadays. So I am emphasizing that uh, we can hardly find any good leaders nowadays. We can say like this, but when I say hardly can we find a good leader nowadays, that means it is scarcely or we find no time. The more attentive one is, the more likely is one to pass the exam. Here I put is before the subject one. I cannot speak Hindi, nor can I read it. Bappa speaks good English, as does Dipankar. If in a certain situation someone speaks, I am happy. So if you agree with him, then you can say, so am I. Or if someone is saying that, I'm not happy, and if you agree with that person, then you can say, neither am I or nor am I. You can also mention me too. I feel exhausted, someone says. You can say, so do I. I'm not interested. In reply, you can say, neither am I or nor am I. You can also say, me too. Under no circumstances should we Call her. In no way could Sam reach the hospital without your help. At no time have we suspected you. Never have I failed so dejected. I can simply say that we shouldn't call her under no circumstances. But to emphasize or to show the determination, I am saying it differently. Under no circumstances should we call her. That means commitment. These are the common examples of inversions where we can put the verb before the subject to emphasize a sentence or uh, just to bring variety in our speech or to add some color or for dramatic effects. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends so that I can upload more and more videos for you. To get instant notification, you can press on the bell icon and to get my other videos you can check the description box the links of other videos are given below and if you want to practice spoken english with me and other members then you can join my whatsapp group the link of the whatsapp group is given below in the description box thanks for viewing this video